is how you can make an advanced economy system for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started now keep in mind this is part one of the series we will be doing a part two and a part three if necessary so this is going to be creating an economy account and making a bed command next part is going to be deposit withdraw and other economy commands before i actually show you how to do this i would like to say that you can get access to paystones by joining my channel membership to do this go ahead and click the link in the description or the join button next to my username if you go ahead and join the super god or custom bot tier like i mentioned you will get access to paste bins meaning you can copy and paste the code from my videos into your bot or website so that you don't actually have to type it out if you do get the custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot if you're interested in this like i said before go ahead and click the join button and with that let's go ahead and get into the video so to start off you are going to need to make sure you have mongodb set up if you need to set this up go ahead and watch the video in the description below but you're going to want to go ahead and create a schema called eco schema JS with the name Eco Schema in both places. It should look exactly like this. So just make sure you go ahead and do that. Now we can go over to community and we can go ahead and create economy.js. In here, we're going to go ahead and define a couple things. So we can do const, we'll get our client, we'll get our slash command builder. We can get our embed builder. We'll get our action row builder. We can get our button builder and we can get our button style. And we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js. Also credit to cookie for the entire economy system. So we can do module.exports. We can do equals and then we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to do data. We're going to say new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name. So set name and that is going to be economy and we can do that set description and in here we're going to say create your economy account then we can add a comma we can do async execute we'll do interaction and we can go ahead and open this up now we can go ahead and get a couple of things we can do cons we'll get our user and we'll get our guild and then we can do equals interaction now we're going to actually go ahead and define our eco schema so we can come up here and say cons eco schema then we can do equals require and we're going to do dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas and then we're going to do slash eco schema just like that and we're gonna come down here and say let data equals eco schema dot find one and you're gonna get our guild and we're gonna get our interaction dot guild dot ID and we're gonna get our user and that is going to be interaction dot user dot ID then we can make a couple of embeds here so we can do const embed equals new embed builder we can go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue then we can go ahead and set a title and for our title we're gonna do account then we can go ahead and set a description and in here we can say choose your option then we can add fields just like this so we can do name and we're going to create and we can do value and in here we can say create your account so we can come down here and say add fields we're going to do name and this is going to be delete and then we can do value and this is going to be delete your account just like that now we can actually go ahead and copy this embed and we're just going to go ahead and paste it right here now we're going to change this to embed 2 in here we're going to say created your account for our description we're just going to say account created now we can go ahead and remove this field and for this name we're going to go ahead and say success for the value we're going to say your account has been successfully created we can do an exclamation mark you've got 1000 currency or dollars upon creating your accounts just like that then we can add a footer so set footer and that is going to be text and in here we can say requested by and we're going to go ahead and get our interaction dot user dot username we can go ahead and just say a timestamp as well now we can go ahead and copy embed 2 we're going to go ahead and paste it right here and we can go ahead and make this embed 3 we're going to replace created your account with deleted your accounts in here we can say your account has been deleted now in here we're going to go ahead and say success but in the value portion of this we're going to go ahead and change that to your economy account has been successfully deleted now we can just go ahead and remove the footer and timestamp at the bottom if you didn't do this already just make sure you make this embed three now we're going to go ahead and create a couple of buttons so we're going to do const button equals new action row builder we can add components and we're going to go ahead and open this up we're going to say new button builder we can go ahead and set a custom id and this is going to be page one then we can go ahead and set an emoji and for our emoji i'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the white check mark like we do for a lot of videos so we'll just go ahead and put that in there we can do set label and for the label we're going to do create and then we can set style and this is going to be button style dot success just like that we can add a comma and we're gonna do new button builder again. And we're gonna go ahead and set that custom ID to page two. We can set an emoji. And for this emoji, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste an X emoji in here. And then we can go ahead and say label. And the label is gonna be delete. And we can say style, so set style. And this is going to be button style and dot danger. And we can just add a comma here. Now we can go ahead and send this. So we can do const message equals await interaction dot reply. 
and we're going to say embeds and in here we can put our embed we can do components and for our components we're going to do button just like that now we're going to do const collector it goes await message create message component collector now we can do collector to on we'll do collect and we can do comma async i arrow function and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to say if i dot custom id equals 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 we're going to do page one now we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and say if i.user.id is not equal to interaction.user.id, we can go ahead and open this up and we can return i.reply. And we're just going to go ahead and say content in here. We can say only and we'll open this up and we can say interaction.user.tag can use this button. Then we can go ahead and make this informal. Now we're going to come down here and we're just going to go ahead and say data equals new eco schema. Now we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to do guild and that's going to be interaction.guild.id. We can do user and that's going to be user.id. We'll do bank and bank is going to be zero and wallet is going to be 1000. Now just make sure this is not a string. This does actually have to be a numerical value. Now we can come down here and we're going to do await data.save. Now we're going to do await i.update and we're going to do embeds and this is going to be embed2 and then we can do components and for our components we're just going to do nothing. So now we're actually going to go ahead and copy this if statement right here and we're just going to go ahead and paste it down here. So we're going to change this to page 2 in here. We're going to keep this the same here but instead of actually creating a schema we can go ahead and delete all of this and we can just do await data dot delete many and then we can replace our embed 2 with embed 3 just like that so that's all we have to do for this command so now we can actually go ahead and move on to our beg command so we can go ahead and copy this and we can go ahead and create beg.js in here we can go ahead and paste it and we're just going to go ahead and change a few things so we're going to do beg and for our description we're going to go ahead and make this beg for money just like that and we can just go ahead and delete everything in here because we are not going to need it now we can say let negative equals math dot round we do math dot random and we're gonna do that multiplied by negative 300 and then we can do minus 10 just like that now we're actually gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna paste it down here we're gonna say let positive and we're gonna make that a positive 300 and we're gonna do plus 10 just like that now we can do const pos n equals and we're just gonna make an array with our negative variable and our positive variable now we can do const amounts equals math dot round and then we're gonna do math dot random and then we're just going to go ahead and multiply that by pos n dot length. Now we're going to go ahead and say const value equals pos n, and then we're going to get amount. We're going to say if no value, we're going to return await interaction dot reply and say content, and we can say no money for you and make this informal. Now we're going to say if data, we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to say data dot wallet, and then we're going to do plus equals value. We can add a semicolon and we're going to do wait data.save. We're going to say if value is greater than zero, we can open this up. We can start by saying const positive choices. We can go ahead and open up an array here. In here, you can make as many choices as you want. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be like uh, somebody gave you this amount of money. So, for example, it would be like Mr. J. Awesome gave you and that's all you would have to do. Then you can add a comma and you can make more. So, like someone gifted you that amount of money or we could do something like you won the lottery and got now you can add as many of these as you would like but i'm just going to do three for example now we can do const pos name equals math dot round and then we can do math dot random and we can multiply that by positive choices dot length now we're going to go ahead and create our first embed so we can do const embed one equals new embed builder now we're going to go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue we can set a title for our title we're just going to make a beg command and we can add fields we can do name and that is going to be beg results and we can do value and for our value we're going to go ahead and do positive choices and then we can open up brackets and in here, we're going to do pos name, just like that. And then outside of that, we can open up a money side, and then we can do another money side, and we can open up value. So we can do with interaction dot reply. And we're going to do embeds, and we can just go ahead and pass in our embed. We're going to come down here and say else, and we can go ahead and open this up. Now in here, we're going to actually go ahead and copy our positive choices variable, and we're going to go ahead and paste that down here. We're going to change this to negative choices. Now in here, you can make as many negative choices as you would like. So for example, you could do you left your wallet on the bench and lost something like that and we could do your bank got hacked and the hackers took and then the last one could be you got mugged 
and lost just like that now we can come down here and say const negative name or just that for short equals math dot round and then we can do math dot random and then we can multiply that by negative choices dot length now we can do const string v for string value equals and then we'll open this up and we're just gonna convert the value which is a numerical value into a actual string so we can take away that negative sign in the actual embed so like i was saying now we're gonna do const non symbol equals await and then we can do string v dot slice and we're just gonna pass in one now we're actually gonna go ahead and copy our embed from above we can go ahead and paste that down there we're gonna change that to embed two and we're gonna keep it beg command but for our beg result value we're actually gonna go ahead and replace that and in here we're gonna do negative choices and then we're gonna open up brackets and we're gonna do negative name now we can come over here and we can do a money sign and open up this and we're gonna do non symbol so we can actually go ahead and send that by doing a wait interaction dot reply we can say embeds and we can go ahead and pass in embed two just like that all right so now we're just gonna go ahead and create our balance command so we can check how much money we're actually getting so we can just go ahead and copy this we're gonna go ahead and create bow.js we can go ahead and paste it in here we're just gonna go ahead and change this to bow for a description we can say check your economy balance actually going to go ahead and remove all of this data right here or all of that code and we can replace that with if no data we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we're going to say content and we can say you must have an economy account created to use this command and just like that and we can do informal and we're going to make that true now we can come down here and say const wallet equals math dot round and we can do data dot wallet now we can do const bank equals math dot round and we're going to do data dot bank lastly we're going to do const total equals math dot round then we're going to do data dot wallet and then we're gonna do plus data.bank. Now we can actually make an embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We can go ahead and set color, and that is going to be blue. We can go ahead and set a title. So set title. And in here, we can say account balance. We can add fields. We're gonna do name, and this is going to be balance value. In here, we can go ahead and bold this. We're gonna say bank. We can finish that bolding. We can do money sign. We can open this up. We're gonna pass in our bank. Then we're gonna do backslash n. We're gonna bold this. We're gonna say wallet. And for that, we're going to do money sign pass in our wallet. We can do the exact same thing. So backslash n total. Then we can do money sign, open this up and do total. Now we can actually go ahead and send this to await interaction to apply. We're going to do embeds and we're just going to go ahead and do our embed like that. All right, before we actually go ahead and restart the bot, just make sure you do await eco schema dot find one. And we can go ahead and change the user to just user to ID. So now we can go ahead and restart the bot and test all of this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out by doing slash economy just like this and as you can see it's going to allow me to either create or delete an account so if i go ahead and click create it's going to go ahead and create my account and put one thousand dollars in my balance now if we do slash bow as you can see here it's going to go ahead and say that my account balance is one thousand dollars in total now i am going to go ahead and make the deposit and withdraw to the bank in the next part of the economy series one more thing too before we actually go ahead and test out the other commands is every time you define the data here just make sure you do await eco schema dot find one so we already fixed that in our balance command but we're going to do that here as well so we can go ahead and test this out again so now if we go ahead and do slash beg to test this out as you can see it's going to say undefined 173 now sometimes this is going to happen i'm not really sure why but if we go ahead and try this again as you can see it's going to say no money for you which is going to happen on occasion so we can go ahead and keep doing this as you can see here and it's going to say you got mugged and lost 24 dollars so if we go ahead and check our balance i've been given 173 but then i lost 24 so that makes sense here so we can go ahead and try this again just for reference and it's going to say no money for me and if we try it again it's going to say i got mugged and lost 30 dollars this time so now my balance is actually going to be a little bit less so that is part one for the economy system like i mentioned before i will be doing a part two with more economy commands that you are going to want to see so if you are going to be following this series go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you do need any help with this code go ahead and join the server in the description below and the coding helpers and i will be able to help you out and with that i'll see you guys in the next video